Hello there, guten tag, welcome to Hockenheim and welcome to W Series HQ. We're going to give you a little uh, behind the scenes tour of what's going on. Um, we're in the middle of Friday here and uh, so the race is tomorrow. So if you're watching us uh, around the world, uh, European time, uh, we're on air around 3.45. So if you're watching us in the UK on Channel 4, it's 2.45 Saturday afternoon for our coverage of the first W Series race. So we're going to tell you a little bit about the setup here. We're going to meet some of the drivers as well, see who is around. We've had free practice one so far, and um, that was uh, Jamie Chadwick, who led from Emma Kimilainen and Fabienne Volvend with Naomi Schiff, uh, the home driver, uh, in fourth position. So uh, we'll see who we can see. This is the car. Just tell you quickly about the car it's a uh, it's a formula 3 car uh, bang up to date all current stuff uh, and uh, with a halo head protection system uh, and it's a 270 270 uh, liter 270 horsepower i should say uh, engine in the back of it um here's uh caitlin wood for australia hi caitlin Hiya. can I have a quick word not bad not bad how did it go in uh, how did it go in fp1 yeah, okay. I've never been to Hockenheim before, so we sort of just, you know, had to bend in brakes, all that sort of fun stuff, yeah. and, you know, just get just get everything sorted and do yep. a few laps, learn the circuit, so I'm mid-pack, not far off, yep. and, you know, I only go forwards, can't we? We can. You are, you can. Thank you very much. <laughs> See you later. Um, so, yeah, that, that's what Free Practice 1 uh, was all about. They've got... Uh, They've got a few, uh, another 45 minutes in free practice too, uh, to, uh, to improve from there. I did mention Naomi Schiff uh, in fourth place. Uh, she's over here. Uh, home driver, of course, your home race, Naomi. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, I, I've decided to represent Germany this season because I've been living here for a couple of years and it's started to feel like home. So the pressure is definitely on for me to deliver here for them. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Okay. How was the car in FP1? Really good. Obviously still struggling with a few things. Um, it's the first session, so we still need to play, find some things. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I felt quite at one with the car, and it's definitely a good base to start from. Excellent. Well, you're P4. <laughs> it's just free practice one. Yeah, I know, we'll I know. See, we'll right, see, we'll okay. see. <laughs> it's just free practice one. All right, thanks very much, Naomi. That's pretty good. Um, right, let's go uh, inside. So, a few other things to tell you about. Told you about the car. Um, it's a two-day... Uh, weekend. So on Friday there is obviously free practice one and free practice two. Uh, they've got simulators as well. Then Saturday it's qualifying and the race. So uh, you better be uh, on it straight away. Uh, Miki Koyama. Hi. Are you, are you right? Um, my Japanese is only choto choto. So, uh, uh, oh, you can speak Japanese. Well I, can, well, I like to pretend that I can speak Japanese. I really can't. Anyway, uh, all good? Yeah, I'm not good. Not good. Not good. Yes, you had a problem, an issue in free practice one with, well, uh, tell me. Um, yeah, I was seven. Seven, yes. Yep. Um, but I'm first time to yep. Hockenheim, so I fresh, 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 and then no complete. Yep. So I'm not good uh, time, but yeah. Maybe second session is better than yeah, first session. Excellent. Excellent. Well, Mickey is one to watch because she won the uh, uh, the race of champions in Austria before the season when they all raced uh, with each other. So, arigato gozaimashita. And uh, I told you, it's really bad Japanese. Sorry about my Japanese. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So she is definitely uh, one to watch. Um, so as we as we come in here, a uh, familiar face for um, those in British motorsport is uh, is is Alice Powell. Um, I don't really want to interrupt, but I will just say hello. Is that all right? Oh, we're shooting into the light. Hang on, I'll come the other side. It's better for the light. Uh, oh, sorry, I was going to ask you a question. Uh, yes, how, <laughs> how did FP1 go? Uh, not too bad. Could have been a lot better, to be honest. Um, had a couple of a couple of spins, but I'm not usually one for spinning, so I think there was a slight issue with the car, which the, the guys are going to gonna have a look at, see if they can find it. Um, but apart from that, you know, we were still in the top eight, uh, so I'm not fastest. So I'm obviously disappointed, but, you know, it, it's, it's coming along nicely. So. Well, it's very, very close. You were uh, separated. Hang on, I've got this somewhere in my notebook. Here we go. Eighth, Alice Powell, a 139.597. Ninth, Tasmin Pepper, a 139.598. One thousandth of a second yep. between you. And it was one second that covered second to twelfth. Yeah, yeah, it's very close. I think I was about eight or nine tenths off Jamie. Yep. So, um, yeah, it's very close, which is obviously 
good. And, and, and you know, it's, it's not surprising that it's close because through testing, yeah. it allows us ring. Yeah. You know, some of the sessions. I think on the the final day, I was fourth, and I was a tenth and a half off of fastest. So it's going to produce hopefully some, cl- especially if it rains tomorrow, some close racing. You mentioned the R word. It's going to rain. <laughs> I know. Well, listen, it's going to be good. It's going to be close. Thank you, Alice. It's going to be close, and it's going to be exciting because it looks like we're going to have the uh, it looks like we're going to have the weather uh, involved as well. So, uh, Alice mentioned uh, Jamie Chadwick. So let's see if we can uh, let's see if we can pop up. Uh, excuse me, sir, madam. Uh, let's see if we can pop up and find uh, the driver who was fastest this morning, Jamie Chadwick, uh, who I believe is up here somewhere. Anything else to tell you about? Oh yeah. So it's all about the drivers this is not a car thing I know I just showed you the car but it's not about the car at all it's about driver talent and to ensure that there is no such thing as a car advantage the cars are rotated not only are the cars rotated but the engineers are rotated as well and the mechanics so if there's any sort of perception that that, that one car is quicker than the other that you won't keep with that because your car will be rotated by way of a draw after every race. So I can't think of many other, if any other series where that, that happens. So just to prove that it's not going to be, you know, it's nothing about the car. And if you have a good car one week, well, there shouldn't be any difference in the car because they're, they're identical. Um, but if there is difference about the cars, which there wouldn't be, am I making sense? Um, then the car will be rotated after every race. Did you hear my nonsense explanation about how the cars are being rotated after every race? No, but I feel like you made more sense than I would make. Well, so. Anyway, it's not. there's no such thing as a car advantage, is that right? So if you do feel like you've got... And is that a, a thing? I mean, if you feel like, oh, yeah, no, I like this car, I've, I've done well with this, and then it gets swapped at the end of the weekend, or do you just... That's the way it is. I think it is the way it is. I've never been in this situation where you're switching cars each weekend, so... Um, it's going to be interesting for all of us I think naturally there are going to be little differences between each car so I think if you're in a good car one week yes of course you don't want to switch cars but at the same time at least it makes it fair for everyone and in theory there shouldn't be any differences I didn't introduce you sorry it was very rude Jamie Chadwick everybody uh, fastest in FP1 um, by four tenths yeah apparently um, but yeah it's only FP1 at this moment I think yes. we've still got another practice session qualifying um, yeah a long way to go this weekend so not going to hedge my bets yet, but nice to start the weekend well. But you're one of the drivers coming here in 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 form. You won the MRF series in in India over when was it January? So do you think that gives you a little bit of an advantage, maybe? Yeah, definitely. Um, I think the odds are stacked in my favour with the last few years single single seater experience I've had. Um, but yeah, I think the cool thing that we've seen already, even in FP1, is how close it's going to be. And naturally, as the season goes on and everyone gets a bit more experience it's going to be close so um, like I said not hedging my bets yet and yeah. hopefully we can have a strong weekend to start the start the year off okay. real Jamie thank you very much what was it coffee yeah I know is it a latte or a flat white a flat white oh cool do they do flat whites they do I'm I didn't a, know I think it is a cappuccino but okay. I've right. only just got mature enough to have a double espresso in my coffee no, no. so well not before well, FP2 not. anyway yeah okay thank you Jamie um, so just explain where we are we're at of course DTM host W Series here. So DTM, German Touring Car Championship, has all of their massive motorhomes. I mean, you can't even call them massive motors. The motorhomes, they're pit buildings. So Hankook, the tyre manufacturer, the supplier, has one there. Then there's the DTM uh, itself in the middle. Then there's uh, uh, Aston Martin, effectively, where Paul DeRest is hanging out. BMW Motorsport, and that one down at the end uh, with the red bit is uh, Audi. Um, so let's just pop in. We've got uh, one more minute. So we'll see if there's um, there's uh, any other drivers in here that we can talk to. They've all disappeared. They've all disappeared. So we'll uh, we'll just pop back downstairs while I tell you um, about uh, what else. Oh yes, we do have two reserves. So we have Sarah Bovey and Vivian Kessle, uh, the uh, Belgian and uh, Hungarian driver. So they at the moment are uh, reserves, and that means that they take part in free practice one. But if anybody can't, if anyone can't make it or anything happens, then they can actually uh, come in. Let's see if we can see uh, Emma Kimilainen here. Emma, can we have a quick word? Our Finnish driver here from Finland. Um, how did it go? Uh, you had an issue with, well, you were slow getting away, but then recovered for a, a brilliant second in FB1. Yeah, yeah. Well, I there was a really strong. Uh, 
um, smell of fuel in my car in the huh. beginning. So right. I actually said that, okay, should we check this out? And then I came into the pit lane once again and yes. then was able to go back. And uh, yeah, it was okay. Um, things to do still, but, uh, but yeah, I'm happy. Good, excellent. Yes, uh, just how much ahead? Four tenths of a set off uh, uh, Jamie Chadwick and oh, six hundredths of a second quicker than Fabien Volvend. Yeah, well, it's going to be tight. It's going to be very gonna be close. Tight. Yeah. It's always yeah. like that. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, we all know what to do. So let's uh, now. I'm going to push for the next one, and all tomorrow right. we're probably going to have a rain. That's just for me. We are. Yes. <laughs> but you know, Brits and the Finns, you'll be used to that. Yeah. Um, Kitos. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yes, thank you very much. I've already tried in Japanese. I might as well try and finish. Okay, Emma, thank you very much. That's all we got time for. So to remind you, uh, wherever you can, uh, check out uh, W Series on uh, Twitter or Facebook or wherever we are to check the, uh, the listings and the timings in your area. But if you're watching us in the UK, it's Channel 4, Saturday afternoon, 2.45. See you then.